Good morning from Appenzell in Switzerland. It is 5.30 in the morning and today I'm doing something that I usually don't do. I'm going on a sunrise mission with that guy. All right. I'm just doing a piece of camera. So me coming out for sunrise this morning is not the only surprise of the day. We are also on a bit of a mission and we've been joined by two other really talented photographers and one of them is a YouTuber as well. They've just disappeared behind that corner there so I gotta go catch up with them. Fingers crossed they don't fall. Man, this is the most challenging sunrise session I have been on in a while, if not ever. This is Chris. Hi guys. And Mike, you might know. Hello. And his background looks awesome. And that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The guys have spotted a deer in the far distance there and Mike is trying to get a good shot of it. But let's hope it doesn't run away. There is wildlife in Europe. It's not just one German girls. <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. How can you not love sunrise photography when this happens? <laughs> Look at that. I might have to come out with work more often. <laughs> so Greg, why do you usually go out for sunrise photography when you don't see amazing wildlife like this? Well, so sunrise is always more calm. It's more peaceful. You tend to have the location all to yourself unless you're with a crew of photographers. And even then it's really early most of the time. So everybody's just kind of waking up. And uh, also the light tends to be the softest. But for me, it's about the peace and the calm and, and having that, uh, yeah, that relaxed time. So I'm not really a photographer myself, but I'm lucky to have three photographers with me here today. So I'm gonna ask those two. So what do you like about sunrise photography? So what I love, it's uh, always the start of a new day. So it's really um, peaceful and quiet and there are not a lot of people around usually. Yeah, the same thing. I love it when there's nobody out here, just, you know, usually us. And then also obviously the best light uh, is always a sunrise or sunset, but I prefer sunrise. Uh, like I said, I like the start of a new day, the start of something, the beginning. I love that. And like we did earlier today, see the, the, uh, the animals and the wildlife. So that's always a good thing. I was actually going to ask him if he prefers sunrise or sunset, but he's already answered that <laughs> question. So. so we all love sunrise photography, but today is not really the best day for it. It is snowing like crazy and there's not really a depth of field from what I've learned. So I think we're going to head back and yeah, call it a morning. We're still going to hang out a little bit and get to know each other. But yeah, that was definitely a fun morning session and definitely in an adventure. And in the end, that's what it's all about.
And we're back from our morning photography session. I am really glad that I'm slowly starting to warm up again. However, it was so much fun this morning and I'm really, really glad I came. I wanted to shortly touch on why it is that I usually don't come on Greg's morning photography sessions, at least the sunrise ones. And that is simply because I'm not a professional photographer. I don't have the gear. I have a little Canon M50, which is what I vlog on. Um, but I don't have a still camera and I am not a photographer. So I really enjoy photography as a hobby, but I don't necessarily go out of my way to get the perfect shot. The second reason is that I've built up a little routine for myself in the morning that I like to get up early, do a little morning workout, get breakfast and then start working on my laptop for a couple of hours. And especially living nomadic, I uh, feel like I've really been needing this routine to be to stay focused and productive. And yeah, that's one of the perks of being nomadic, of being on the road all the time, traveling a lot, is that you it's important to find these little things that keep you stay focused and productive. And yeah, I would love to know if you guys have a morning routine, what helps you stay focused. And of course, I want to hear your opinion about this awesome morning photography session, even though in the end it was more of an adventure than an actual photography shoot. It has also been amazing to finally meet Mike and his girlfriend Chris. They're both really, really great photographers and I'm so glad they came out this morning. For a different view on this morning's photography sessions, also make sure to check out Greg's video and of course Chris and Mike's channel, which I will link up here. For those of you who are new to this channel, thank you so much for joining. I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and maybe click that subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this of me and learn more about our location independent lifestyle. Bye bye from Switzerland.